data. So Builder has built-in data, built-in collections that you can bind to elements and that you can do things with, with that are with built-in actions. But it also can use any API. And so there are a couple API actions where you can just call to an API and when you pull the data response, Builder will treat that like Builder data. Or you can also create custom actions that use a third-party API and then do whatever you want with that data as well. For the sake of this overview, I'm just gonna to stick to the builder data, but wanted to make that note. So for builder data, once you have a project, you can come over to data collections on the side here. You're gonna see the defaults to your single collection called users, which comes with every project. Now users is technically a special collection um, because it has things like passwords and authentication, but mostly it's treated like any other collection in builder. So collections come with these default fields created by, created date, time, that kind of thing, or you can add your own new fields. And so you add new collections with this button. You add fields the way I just showed. And then lastly, you can set some security restrictions on collections if you want, like allowing non-authenticated, meaning if someone's not signed into your app, records get so they can view records or records modify, that kind of thing. Um, and then up to some pretty advanced stuff with this enable user restrictions, which will be a separate lesson. Now, once you have a collection and you bound and you, sorry, you added your fields to it, you can use it with data binding. So I clicked on this heading here, which is from the last demo and it's just sitting in here but I get this data tab over here. And so if I hit data here, I can choose to bind a value, one of my data, so I choose my collection and then choose my field. Or certain elements I can bind to a whole collection list. Like a grid element will get bound to a whole collection list. So that's how you ultimately display data in some instances, there's other ways to display it. And then if you wanted to use it in a flow, like this is data create record action. I would select that uh, record, that collection I just created, and then I could say, okay, map the name field to you know the value of this heading, you know whatever you're gonna map. But that's kind of how you work with the data within the actions.